I'm taking a Sela Amtrak's express train from Penn Station, heading to Boston. I'm excited about this trip because it's been so long since I visited there last time. The train tickets were almost sold out, and they were quite expensive. In three and a half hours, the train arrived at South Station in Boston. I lit up the candle because the room didn't smell nice. The candle is the one that I bought from Orange Beach. I'm going to plan for next day and go to bed early. Boston is kind of like London to me. Maybe because of these brownstone row houses. I love these Victorian styled old buildings. So I stay there for a while just looking at the buildings. The street and the grey weather reminded me of London. People suggested me to go to this bakery called Flower. There are actually several locations in Boston. It was crowded as I heard. I didn't know that it's founded by pastry chef Joanne Chang. I've seen her books and videos before. So I was excited to try some of her recipes in person. It was hard to choose one or two among these many. I am a home baker, so I appreciate all of them. I deliberately chose the gluten-free muffin to try. Because it's tricky to make gluten-free yet chewy and yummy. This is brioche or chocolate, though it's not gluten-free. It was very yummy but not too sweet. After the breakfast, I'm ready to explore. I'm going to take the subway from Back Bay Station. Because of the subways, it's convenient to get around in Boston. It's similar to New York subways, but it seems much cleaner. It was only two stops away. I am on my way to Museum of Fine Arts. I was attracted by this open space, which connects the old architecture and the modern architecture. I went straight to J.M.W. Turner's exhibition, the British painter who depicted the great events from 18th through 19th centuries. 
He evolved his painting styles through embracing the changes in technology and society. The museum was huge. Where am I? At this point, I'm realizing I can see them all. I was impressed by some of the exhibition designs. I felt like I was in a room of an old palace. As I get older, I am enchanted by the classic styles, the luxurious decorations and details. The next museum would be the highlight of today. Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, which is located near Museum of Fine Arts. The museum was built by Isabella Stewart, who was wealthy and passionate for collecting arts. Then she bought a land and hired an architect to build the museum. The museum opened in the year 1903. She and her husband traveled in Europe, and those travels inspired a passion for art. I could imagine her endeavor and love for the museum. Although you have fortune, it's an arduous work to build a complete museum. It's a remarkable determination, not only for herself, but for the public. The view from upstairs enabled me to understand better about the layout of the building. The museum is too unique and precious to forget. I saw a tram running on the street. It looked very old. I decided to try even though I had no idea how that worked. It was part of the regular subway system. I didn't need to worry. Then I had a chance to take the bus as well. In the evening, I explored downtown Boston. It's an office and commercial area. People left after work. I wondered about that huge modern concrete architecture. It's Boston City Hall. I wanted to see the historic shopping malls and markets. There are many eateries in the mall, but I wanted to dine in a restaurant. There are several old taverns around this area. This one looked interesting, so I decided to get in. I mean, I don't know.
so yummy and fresh. I realized this was my first real meal. I didn't have time for lunch. Well, I was too ambitious. It was quite cold today, but now I need to unbutton to eat a lot. The oysters were huge and fresh. It's tastier with horseradish. After dinner, I'm looking for a dessert. I heard there are a couple of famous Italian pastry shops here. Wow, it's so crowded. This must be really good. So, they have all kinds of pastries you want to get. I'm going to try the most famous Boston cream pie. I came back to the hotel and can't wait to try this one. This is Boston cream pie. It's extremely soft and sponge. It's similar to Bavarian cream, but creamier and softer. I had a great first day in Boston. I will share more of Boston in next video.